Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm looking at the XP Pen Deco Pro Medium. So it's quite a pricey tablet coming in at I believe the price is £130. You can seem to get it a bit cheaper on eBay and places uh, but that's obviously up to you. But £130 so it's quite expensive. Let's take a quick look. It is nice. I've got to say straight off the bat, it is a nice piece of kit, this. It is the best tablet that I've ever used. Uh, so maybe it's worth that price tag. It's got a really, really nice surface. It's just a tactile enough to sort of give your pen that feeling of paper that everybody's after. In some ways, uh, that feeling of paper, is that the best feeling? <laughs> just because we're used to it. It's got a very, very nice feeling. Maybe it's even better than drawing on paper in some weird way, but it was very fluid, very nice. It's got, it boasts all the pressure sensitivity, 8,000 levels, response rate and so forth, but it's always down to how it feels. And I would say this is one of the best. In fact, this is the best I've ever used. Now I'm not comparing it to display tablets just yet, so I'll come into that a bit later, but the feel of the pen across the tablet was really nice. It was kind of instant on my screen, if that makes sense. Uh, it just felt right and natural, and it was really fluid. Uh, the lines were all straight, no wobble, no uh, jankiness around the place. The corners were all good, so you go to the corners and you're absolutely fine. There was no issues whatsoever. The drivers worked very well, and the driver um, program was really good. Uh, it and this is, has programmable buttons that you can change for different programs. And that's got something over the classic Hueyon, UG, and the uh, Gammon. Uh, they sometimes don't have uh, the ability to change, but you can program your buttons, but you can't program them for different programs. So if I'm going to Blender, and I want my pen to be slightly different to how it is in Photoshop, then this is working the Gamma and the UG and the Hueyons, they don't seem to be able to do that, the ones I've seen anyway. Uh, you might want to comment below and read the comments as well and see what other people are saying about their tablets because I can't test them all of course. But this is by far and the best one, best one I've ever used. It's boasts a few other features. This wheel is quite nice. You've got the middle and you can move around the middle and program different things for that. Uh, let's say zooming in and out and this one can be your brush size and it's very nice. It's very fluid. It does feel pretty good. Uh, it was it was a remarkable uh, piece of kit. I, I'm kind of blown away in a sense, uh, but I do prefer display tablets because you see what you're drawing on. So it's not something I would choose over a display tablet. Uh, again, I'll come to that in just a moment. Uh, so the other thing it does boast is being able to uh, link up to your mobile phone, no problems there, worked really well. Like I say, the drivers seemed really good. The only problem I did have with my drivers, I couldn't use it on my main machine uh, because it uh, interfered with the Wacom drivers. And I think that was actually a Wacom issue rather than XP Pen issue. Uh, but we do have this problem at work as well when we have to try and put lots of different drivers for different graphics cards onto the machines. The XP Pens don't like other drivers being on there. And in fact, not many of them do. Uh, to be honest, but some, like Gammon, seems to work with everything. I don't know how, but it, do, it just does. Uh, so if you maybe run a college or a, a machine that's public, then this one's a bit tricky if you want lots of different tablets being plugged in and out of it. Uh, but generally that's not going to affect many people. So the drivers were very good and I didn't have any problems. There was no sort of weird, occasionally with the, the much cheaper tablets, around £30, you occasionally get the sort of little glitch that you just have to watch out for and undo. And that's just one of those things. So it might pick up your palm in some way, which is quite strange. But it's just little bits like that. But this, it didn't happen at all with this. It's a really fluid, nice uh, experience. Now, uh, compare this to display tablets. Obviously, it's a completely different market. I'm not saying it isn't, but the cheapest display tablet I've come across is £160. So this is starting to get to that level. But that was a cheap one from Gammon, and I'll put the link in the description and hopefully a card in the corner if I remember. <laughs> I always seem to forget that. Uh, but uh, check that out and see what you think. Obviously, there's, there's issues with that being £160. It's the very low price, uh, but uh, we'll start, it, it's encroaching on the price of this. So would I go for that? It's really tough to say. Uh, as soon as you start going to the corners of that one, you start seeing sort of glitches, the pen isn't in quite the right place on the screen and so forth. So there are issues with that. So a low price display tablet, but the fact that you're getting a display tablet does improve your workflow over just the normal tablet. So it's a tough one to decide. But if you are in the market 
for you know spending a lot of money on your graphics tablet you're an artist but you can't quite break into that display tablet band then this is definitely the one for you and I can actually say I prefer it over the Wacom uh, now I haven't used a modern Wacom recently obviously I've used display Wacoms like the uh, Mobile Studio Pro which is lovely but um, in terms of the uh, Wacom tablets I haven't used a modern one so I can't properly compare but uh, I, don't, I haven't heard that they've done anything new and special whereas this surface does seem to be that much nicer uh, it was very very fluid very nice and very comfortable to use uh, the pen itself has programmable buttons which you can see on there uh, two programmable buttons and it feels very nice it is very similar to a Wacom pen the nib isn't squishy it's hard and firm and it just it glides it's nice it is like a Wacom actually uh, they probably uh, looked at a Wacom and thought let's uh, do a Wacom uh, because it's it's pretty much the same. It's got tilt support as well. Uh, so it, there's, this has everything uh, that you'd want from uh, your graphics tablet rather than display tablet. That's the only thing it hasn't got, obviously. It, it comes in a beautiful box and uh, it's got this huge case for the pen. It's got all your nibs in there. It's got your adapters for your mobile phone. In fact, I won't show you them. It's just all fairly obvious. Uh, and it's not those sort of things you want to worry about. It's the actual feel and is it comfortable uh, you can actually uh, use it like this, uh, like this, or like this for your left-handed and so forth. So it's, it's quite compatible. They seem to have thought of everything. I do like XP Pen. I'm quite impressed with them. Uh, so I can uh, firmly say and safely say this is a good buy. Uh, the only thing I can't test is longevity because um, I will, I'm just using this for testing purposes and then I'll go back to my display tablet, of course. Um, so in terms of uh, how long it's going to last, um, and it, it, it looks a really good build, it's, it's well put together and everything like that as you'd expect. Uh, it's got this sort of metallic finish and it's quite solid. Um, so I don't think you'll have any problems but I can't say that safely. So again, if you've had experience of this and you've enjoyed it and you're using it for a while now, then put it in the comments, that would help other people and that'd be perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think that's probably enough for me. Uh, so uh, yes, this is the best graphics tablet I've ever used. <laughs> uh, take from that what you will. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.